Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. So since I started this channel of open source, Linux, goodness, um, I've basically been combing through all your questions and requests, and by far the most frequently asked one is, what is the difference between GNOME 3 and Unity, and how do they compare? So today, right now, I'm giving you my answer. Brought to you by HostGator. Let's be honest, there has been a very real and sometimes contentious divide between people who like Unity and those who've stuck with GNOME. GNOME 3 and Unity are the desktop environments that define how you interact with your computer. Unlike other desktop environments such as GNOME 2, both GNOME 3 and Unity have moved away from the traditional desktop metaphor. You know where users place and access files, folders, and applications directly on the desktop? Both desktop environments seem to draw inspiration from similar sources. Like Mac OS X Spotlight, both GNOME 3 and Unity utilize application launchers as their primary interfaces, and both have docs where shortcuts to applications are placed. Unity uses the Dash application launcher, an extremely powerful tool which allows you to search your applications and files by simply typing away once the panel is open. Through the use of lenses, you can quickly find files or programs by category, and these can be integrated with online services such as the Software Center, so you can find stuff that you don't even have to have on your computer yet. As quick and powerful as Dash is, if you want to manually find an application the old-fashioned way by clicking it, you're going to be rather frustrated, as only a few applications are shown at a time. Unity's dock is always shown and is quite useful, though you can't move it from the left side of the screen, and as apps are added to it, you can scroll it up and down to find them. GNOME 3 uses the Activities panel, which is similar to Dash in that it allows you to search through all your applications, though it's a lot easier than Dash to manually find an app you're looking for. The Activity panel does not have a functionality like Dash's lenses, so it's a lot less feature-rich. GNOME 3's dock only shows up when the Activities panel is opened, and doesn't have a scroll option, so in general, launching apps is a little easier in Unity. Unity's desktop looks a little like GNOME's 2 used to, with some exceptions. Like OS X, Windows have their own minimize and maximize buttons, but no individual menus. Instead, the title bar contains the application menu for the currently highlighted window. When maximized, the min and max and close buttons are also found in the title bar. Workspaces are handled like in GNOME 2 by clicking on the workspace button on the launcher and choosing your desired panel. GNOME 3's desktop looks rather different, almost barren. Without the Activities panel open, there's no dock, you can't place icons on the desktop by default, and Windows don't even have minimize or maximize buttons. GNOME 3 does do some interesting things with Windows snapping, letting you pull a window up and snap it to be maximized, or pull it to one side and quickly snap it to half the screen. Workspaces are also handled in a very different and much more intuitive way. When the Activities panel is open, you can drag an application to a Workspace panel on the right, or from one workspace to another, and new workspaces are added as needed. GNOME 3 also has a neat integrated notification feature that sends notifications to the bottom of the screen, and keeps them ready for you in the Activities panel if you haven't seen them. When Ubuntu 11.10 was released, Unity was pretty slow and unstable. With the release of 12.04, Unity is much more responsive and on par with GNOME 3 in terms of quickness and stability. But one thing Unity added, which has no equivalent in GNOME 3, or even in OS's like Windows 7 and Mac OS X, is the heads-up display. The HUD is an extremely useful integrated application menu search. With a few keystrokes, you can search any application's nested menus to find whatever feature you're looking for. This is huge for applications that might have tons of menus, where you might otherwise be clicking five or six times to get to a feature. While in the past I only used GNOME, I liked it, I was familiar territory and I hated change. The only thing I really didn't like about it is there's no way I can say it to make you guys happy. GNOME, GNU Linux, GNOME, La GNOME. I don't know, but honestly some of the recent developments 12.04 have got me thinking otherwise. Unity, apart from being more pleasingly pronounceable, is also pretty amazing. I mean, with 12.04, I, I've seen a lot of changes in it that I really enjoy. And you know, I appreciate some of the things that it does that no other operating system can do today. So um, I know I'm gonna regret asking this, but start the war! Which one do you guys like? 
let me know in a comment below and until next time be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Oh and uh, thanks for watching my show. OS All means open source alternative. I was wrong. I. Now it's time to give my sponsors some love. Seriously though, I've been with HostGator since my first blog post in 2008. With Linux-based servers and plans starting at under 4 bucks a month, you get 24-7 support and access to tons of website building tools. HostGator has even gone green and is 130% powered by wind energy. For OS Alt viewers, you guys, HostGator is offering 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and when you check out, enter the code NixieOSAlt.